Hey, good morning guys, Dennis here from primetraders.com. You know who I am, I'm the lead trader. Now, what we're gonna be going over in this video is the Prime Strategy Series Episode 3. This episode is gonna be a little bit more hands-on than the rest of the episodes. The rest of the episodes were more, much more like, well, me talking. But in this one, we're really gonna be getting hands-on. Now, what we're gonna be getting going over is actually creating a good trading day. So there are only three types of day in any kind of calendar. There's a good day, there's a bad day, and then there's the third one. But let me explain the good day and the bad day. Most people and most traders are very reactive to what's happening, to what happens. I'll give you a basic example. You have a dog, that dog pisses you off, you go into the markets with bad energy, anger, blah, 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 you end up having a bad day. You go to work, something happens, you're busy, you're tired, somebody pisses you off, you're having a bad day. Somebody honks at you, you're having a bad day. It all translates into being reactive to what's actually happening. That's what we do not want to do. What we want to be doing is to have a good day. And the only way to actually have a real good day and not just wait for some kind of good news is to, well, create the day. So that's the third type of day, the days we create, okay? Now at primetraders.com, we can only have the third one because that means we are proactive to what's actually happening. And that means that we have complete control of what we think and do. And what we think and do directly impacts how we feel, yeah, and the results we produce. So guys, in episode three, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be going over creating a good trading day. Don't want to waste too much time, so let's get started. There is a free basic step process what we need to do to have a good day. The first point of this is preparing your account. In order to prepare your account to have a good day, what we need to do is determine our position sizing. Um, that's actually using the formula to decide what kind of position sizing we're going to be taking. Now, don't worry, the whole process, I'm going to show it to you live exactly how I do it. So two. That's us determining our profit and excess profit targets for the upcoming session. If you didn't know it, Prime Traders, we target profits per session. We want to be in and out of the market with a profit today. Number three is pretty simple. We determine our trading halt dollar value. What this means is once we lose, let's say, 7.5%, we stop. That's for me. Everybody can have their own unique thing, but it can't really go into double digits. Um... um yeah, that's pretty much it. We determine our position sizing based on our balance each session. We determine our profit targets and excess profit targets in each session and determine our trading halt dollar value for each session. Once we're done with that, we can begin multiple time frame analysis. And that is one, check the four hour chart. We're gonna be checking the momentum, the key levels and the candlesticks. Once we're done with this, we're gonna be checking the one hour chart for any patterns and candlesticks. And finally, we move down to the 10 and five minute charts to locate entry and even patterns, by the way. So I'll show you all of this live. Now, once multiple time frame analysis is done, what we enter is the trade execution process. And this is a six step basic process. Clearly, we must have found the trade while doing our analysis or maybe multiple trades. Once we find those multiple trades, what we do is we find the exit on the trade. And this is only if we're gonna be taking the trade, by the way. Once the exit is found, we decide which layer of exposure we're gonna be using based on the first thing we did, which was determine our position sizing. Once that is done, we wait for the confirmation. I'll show you a couple of them in this video. And then finally, we enter the trade. Now, only once the trade is entered, do we look for the profit target. As you see, number two and number six. The last thing we do is look for money. Where are we gonna make money? But the first thing we do is look for where could we be wrong? Get it? This is really important. Okay, so I hope you guys understand this. It's very basic stuff. What we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna rocket ourselves right into the charts so I can show you exactly how we're gonna be doing this. And I'll use the whole process using my own account to show you exactly what I'm doing. You ready? I know you are. Let's go. Okay, so we are ready to trade, right? Let's say we use a basic example. We started with a thousand bucks. Our profit per session is uh, 5%. So let's say this is the EU session. 
this is the US session, EU session, oh, EU session, US session, EU session, US session. Now, let's say we made our 12% in the first session, and then you lost a little bit in the next one, and now you're back to trade today's Euro session. Based on your balance here, your lot size is this for the aggressive, for the conservative it's this, and for the moderate it's this. What do I do with this? What do I do with this? Now let me explain to you guys what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to write my lot sizes down using a basic piece of paper, and I'm going to write myself for conservative, I'm opening 0 0.06, 0 .06. For moderate, I'm opening 0 .0, 0 0.1, and for aggressive, 0 0.22. So I'll have this set in advance, right? Now, I also know my profit target. Based on my 5%, my profit target is 1155, which is basically make 55 euros. And then I'm going to do my excess profit target, which would be, let's say, 10%, and that means this. So I'll write this down. So I'll know that in the euro session, this is what I'm targeting. And if I manage to keep getting that, look at this. <laughs> it's 129 grand, really gross. So I'll write this down and I'll prepare that. But also, another thing I'll do is 7.5%. And I'll see, boom, if I lose 82.50, so if my balance drops by 82 euros and 50 cents, I'm using a trading halt. So I'll write all of this down and this will help me prepare my session and direct me to trade organized and be professional throughout the trading session. You get it? This is all. This is exactly what you need to do before you trade any session, Euro, uh, New York, or Asia. You prepare yourself, you're ready, and you know exactly what you're getting out of this session, what you could get out and what you could not get out, such as lose. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move into the analysis process. Okay, so we are in my trading terminal. I am trading BTC Euro already, so I just want to go over the analysis process of why I entered this trade, and I'm going to show you in more detail uh, exactly <coughs> why the trade was taken. Now, what you guys see here is the four-hour chart on the left, in the middle, the one-hour, and the five-minute and ten-minute. This is where I use the five-minute and the ten-minute all the way on the right. The first thing I'm going to do is map in my momentum and understand what's going on with the four hour chart, I'd like you to focus on the left. Firstly, I'm going to grab in my resistance level, which is right there based on the Dow chain channel. Then I'm going to get my support level, which is right here, these two spikes and the straight line of the Dow chain level. And you can see the support right there. Based on the 13 EMA, the yellow dotted line and the white 30 Dow chain channel, Momentum is a little bit mixed. We're kind of in the middle with more indications to the upside based on price action, but because of these two rejections right there, just a sec, these two rejections right there, they show me that price action can't really push higher. There's a rejection right there and a rejection right there. We still have two hours to go for this four-hour candle, and I think momentum could easily turn because we're right at the 13 EMA, and that could indicate that price action might well, has a chance of turning around. When we move over to the one-hour chart, what we face here is a potential head and shoulders. You can see that here with the first chance of breaking this level. And it's pretty simple. We have the head, the shoulder, the head, and the shoulder. Right? Right there. Beautiful. So, when we move here, what else we have is a potential contraction that's been broken out of. Check this out. You see this? and retested right there. Now, when I take my FIB retracement tools and I grab the bottom of price action and get the top, I get, well, nothing because this is the head. Swing down and then swing up, and here I get my 38.2% and 30%, which have had rejection, rejection. You see that? And that's really good. Furthermore, when I come to the five minute chart now and I take the bottom of the level and the push from here, I get 38.2 again. Now I'm going to change the color of this and I'm going to do this and I'll take the bottom level here and boom, there's my support level. There is my contraction now. You see that guys? And this 
indicates that there is a higher chance, especially that we can break 38.2 and 38.2 here. This highly indicates to me that there is a chance of price action going lower. And as you guys can see, I'm not heavily exposed here. I'm building this position slowly. But how did I find my take profit? I found it right there, 123.6% from swing up to swing down, 123.6%. My stop loss, where is it? It's a little bit above the 30%. As you can see, this is not a major move because we're on the five minute chart. Uh, in real pips, tiny. So that's how I've got this trade. And that's exactly what I did. I just used the analysis process. But then we have the trade execution process. And I explained that to you. Find the trade, find the exit, decide the exposure, wait for the confirmation, enter, find profit targets. That is exactly what I did in this lecture, in this uh, on this trade. And I'm going to show you, let's say, Bitcoin USD. And I'll show you the same thing because the charts are exactly the same. Um, so we have this contraction. We have price action finding resistance right there, which is really good. And price action is expected to move lower. And price action could um, head south from here based on what we have. Exactly the same thing on Bitcoin Euro. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just showed you exactly how I entered this trade. No big deal. And what we need to remember before we even say, okay, this is a valid trade, is accept the fact that we can lose. And how do we do that? By having a stop loss and saying, I'm happy to take 458 and 349 euros as a loss, which translates to not much because I have 18,050 euros here. That's pretty much it. Thanks, and I hope this strategy series has helped you in one way or another. I wish you success today and every other day. Good luck and bye-bye.